Hello everyone, this is Ashish Sani from Innovate Yourself. Welcome back to my channel. Once again, I am back with the Docker container, right? So in the last session, I have already shown you that how you can install the Docker onto your Ubuntu machine if you are having the Ubuntu operating system onto your uh, machine, right? So right now, what we are going to learn is like we are going to learn like how you can install docker onto the windows machine right because on the windows operating system the way of installing docker is quite different as i have already mentioned in the last session that on windows the docker is not directly supportive right so to make it supportive what exactly we have to do is we have to install docker onto your system so that you can further use the docker and then you will be able to further apply it because in the beginning when the docker came at that time what happened is there you can only uh, install the docker onto the ubuntu machine it was not actually available for the windows machine right so in that case this software has been designed so based on that what you can do is you can further install it now on your windows machine as well and also as well as onto your macbook right so you can install it now based on that right so now let's see how you can install it and how you can further use the docker to make multiple application and further deploy them into different servers right so let's see how to do that part so here you can see uh, this is a website this is the official website for the docker so in here i have already opened this page right don't worry about the link i will leave this link in the description below right so you can just check it and you can directly go to this link and you can just download the docker onto your system right so in here you can see i am showing you that docker desktop right so right now i will not directly tell you that you have to install docker desktop directly just because if in case you are using windows 10 pro or enterprise or you are using windows 10 home edition right so in that case i will suggest that you can directly use the docker desktop but if you are using the previous version of your windows then i will suggest not to download the docker desktop onto your machine instead of using that just download the docker tools right so you have to uh, download the docker tools and then you have to follow the same process right so you just have to download that part don't worry about that i will just leave a link for that also you can directly download docker uh, tools from there and you can further start working on it right so let's just download it now so you can see in here download for windows so it's already showing me for the windows part but if in case you are using the mac os so in that uh, you are having two options the stable and the edge similarly you having the same thing for windows as well and for the linux as well so linux we have already seen in the last session i mean to say the ubuntu system right so that we have already seen now just click on this and what will happen is it will ask you to download so once the downloading will start you can further uh, start the installation process so now it will just start downloading the process when you will click on the save file right so right now as you can see it is just downloading this part but i don't have to download it just because i already have it uh, downloaded onto my system right so you can see in here so you can see docker desktop installer so it's already onto my system right so i don't have to download it again but in your case you have to download it so i have already shown you that how you can download it and from where you can download it right so this is from where you have to download it so once you have the docker uh, desktop downloaded onto your system now it's time to install it right so just right click on it and run it as an administrator all right so now you can see docker desktop is downloading some of the packages which it will download for the first time when you will run it right so it will take some time once it is done you can further start working on the docker desktop right so let it finish so here you can see it is asking you for this setup of configuration right so you have to enable this hyper v uh, windows feature so this is must so just enable this right and also add this shortcut so it's optional if you want to add it uh, so it's up to you so in my case i want to add it to the desktop so that i can directly access it and i can open it so now just click on ok so it will start unpacking all the files right
So now you can see the installation successful. So just click on close. So this is done, right? So now you will see in here there is nothing right now, right? Because we haven't run the Docker, right? So just go to the desktop. So here you can see you are having an icon with the name Docker Desktop. So just right click on it and run it as an administrator. So now you can see in here your Docker Desktop is starting, right? So let it finish. So once this will get stable that means uh, everything is working fine so for the first time it will take some time to set up and get started right so just be patient and let it finish right so uh, let it finish so you can see docker is starting linux container uh, hyper v backend is starting right so the one which we enabled it is also starting right so that is actually required so let it finish now and once that will get stable we can further go ahead alright so now you can see the docker desktop is running and the icon is quite stable that means it is installed successfully right and now we can further check it that whether it's actually installed onto your system or not so for that let's do one thing let's just right click on here and just click on dashboard so when you will click on dashboard it will open a new window for you and in there it will be a docker desktop window right so there it will show you all the containers if you already have them right so let it open first so here you can see the docker desktop is running onto your system right but right now you can see it is saying no containers running so that means uh, no container is running and also we don't have any container onto your system till now right so uh, that means we have to further start creating the containers right but before starting that let's just check one thing just open the command prompt first and on there just type a very simple command that is docker version so if this will not show you any error that means the docker is installed successfully and you can access it from your command prompt right so that means it is uh, running successfully and it is actually installed onto your system right so now let's go ahead and let's see how to uh, further create a container right so to create a container it's better let's first uh, sign in to the docker desktop using the docker id right so for that if you already have the docker desktop id then you directly just enter the ids over here id and password and just sign in otherwise you can click on here hub.docker.com and it will take you to the page where you can create a new id for it right so this is all that you can do but in my case i already have the docker hub id so i am directly just entering the password and id so i will be signing in so let me just type it all right so i am signed into the docker desktop or let's say i am signed into the docker hub so let's run the very first command so just copy this command and just paste it onto your terminal or let's say onto your command prompt and just run it so if this uh, let's say image will already be available then it will not uh, download the new one and it will directly run it but as you can see unable to find image locally so that means it has to download it and it is saying docker image operating system linux cannot used on this platform all right so there is some uh, linux version issue right so that's not a problem just leave it right now just type another command docker run hyphen it and type hello world so this is an image which i want to capture now so just run it all right so you can see now when i run this command it is uh, actually downloading it just because it was not available onto your system right so it is just downloading it and once it is downloaded it will further start or let's say it will just further run your hello world image or let's say hello world container onto your uh, terminal right so this is how it is going to work and now it is downloading it that means your docker desktop is actually installed onto your windows system right so this is all that you can do so let it finish first and after that let's see uh, what will be the output so here you can see the docker image which was the hello world which was the very basic one so it is downloaded and based on that it is also running and in the return you can see this is the message which you can see in here 
hello from docker this message shows that your installation appears to be working correctly to generate this message docker took the following steps right so this is all that you can get in the output so this simply means that everything is installed successfully onto your windows system now you can go ahead and you can use the docker in whatever way you want to use it whether to create a container whether to create uh, let's say run multiple services at a time so whatever other tasks that you want to do you can do it now onto your windows machine now i hope everything is clear to you right and based on that now you can see in here also right that whatever image or let's say whatever container that you have downloaded that is now over here so this is saying like this is the container which you have downloaded till now right so this is all about that now i hope everything is clear to you but still if you are facing any kind of a difficulties in understanding this topic or let's say in the installation process then you can definitely leave a comment below in the comment section and also if you have liked this video then do click on the like button and if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet then do click on the subscribe button and also you can press the bell icon if you don't want to miss any updates from my channel so till then bye bye and happy learning